What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in today. So today I'm talking about a few things that you should not do while you're driving a vehicle with a manual transmission. I've done a video specific to things you should not do when you're using paddle shifters, but today it is actually about the manual transmission. Can you see the stick shifter right here? Yes. Okay, so first things first. One thing that is actually a pet peeve of mine, and go check out our vehicle pet peeve video. I'll talk about that in this video as well. Um, there's no need to do a lot of jiggling of the stick shifter to make sure it's in na uh, in neutral. Didn't your dad ever tell you that if you jiggle it more than twice you're playing with it? Quit playing with it! You kind of just know it's in neutral. If you're driving second, third, fourth gear, and then you come to a stop and you're downshifting, put it in first, you just move it back one. You know it's in neutral. No need to jiggle. There's no need to jiggle. I see videos from people doing this constantly. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know that it's going to hurt anything, but it's just, it, it's dumb. It's annoying. It's annoying. It bothers me. Stop the jiggle. Hashtag stop the jiggle. You just know. It's in neutral. Wow, that was so easy. If you really need to know, just move it over once. Good enough. There's no... Okay, enough of that. So you you stop, you're ready to put it in park. The other thing I hate is when people snatch that e-brake up. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. You feel a few clicks, you feel it taking on a little resistance. It's good. If you're jerking it up like that, you're stretching that cable and eventually the cable's gonna get so stretched, you're gonna have to make adjustments to your e-brake because it's not gonna grip anymore. Stop snatching that brake handle up. All right. Let's drive, talk about a few more things. Another thing guys I'll say is don't roll up to a stop sign in neutral. Don't do that. Do you know why? Can you think of a reason why? Um, because your car stops. No. You're still driving. <laughs> no, that's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> don't put it in neutral <laughs> going up to a stop sign because it burns out your brakes. It burns your brakes faster. You're your engine actually breaks for you. Think about this, if you're driving an automatic and you come to a stop sign, does your car put itself into neutral? No. No, it doesn't. How about if you're in manual mode using paddle shifters and you start slowing down, does your car put itself into neutral? Nope, no, it can't put itself in anything. It doesn't put itself in neutral, it downshifts for you. So you should always downshift. In addition to not putting it in neutral, don't hold your foot on the clutch. Don't. Don't push your clutch in and roll to a stop. You're still burning out your brakes. Downshift, second gear. Feel that engine braking? The engine slows down for you. It's the same reason you see those signs in the mountains with the truck on the hill. It's telling you that you're on a hill and you might want to downshift so you don't burn your damn brakes out. So in addition to not putting the car in neutral when you go up to a stop sign and not putting your foot on the clutch or holding the clutch in when you're rolling to a stop sign. Notice again, I'm downshifting, barely touching the brake. I'm letting the engine slow the car down by itself. Uh, the other thing I would say to not do while you're driving a manual transmission is don't rest your foot on the clutch pedal. A lot of people will do that. They'll just drive around, not, not putting any pressure on it. They're just resting their foot on it. You're gonna, you're gonna start you're just gonna wear out the throw out bearing and you're gonna start getting chirping coming from the from that area and just just don't just keep your foot off the off the clutch okay another one on the list i'm not sure what are we at number four five six i think so i don't know another one is um kind of in line again with that putting in car in neutral or holding the clutch pedal when you're coming to a stop i've seen videos of people during track days having their car out on the track racing and they'll, they'll, they're pulling down a straightaway, right? They're in fourth gear going 100 miles an hour and they're coming up to a turn or curve. And instead of downshifting, they put it in neutral, push the brake to slow down. And then they're forced to find a gear, second gear or third gear or whatever. Just downshift when you come to that corner. Like go in neutral to go in a corner? Yeah, it's it's people that are inexperienced. They're, they're in a racing that. scenario and you're in a track. You're jamming through the gears, right? 
and you're coming to a, a, a hairpin turn and you gotta go from fourth to second gear rather than downshifting, they're throwing the car into neutral like this and then they're coming taking the curve and then they when they're coming out of the curve they gotta find second gear release the clutch and then accelerate it's it's just not efficient it's not effective uh, it just it's not good if you're trying to improve track times don't do that you never I, it's just back to the whole situation of putting the car in neutral and using the brakes to slow the car down the engine does such a great job in slowing the vehicle down on its own you're just gonna prematurely wear through your brake pads and generate additional heat and friction through the braking system it's not good in regular driving situations but it's certainly not good in a track event where you're already abusing your brakes uh, you just just don't do that all of you guys I really appreciate the sentiment of save the manuals right let's save the manuals let's keep the stick shift alive but everyone that's saying that oh, but so many of you don't even know how to drive a stick. You think you're tough, you think you're really cool. You're saying, oh, it's, you, you, you don't know how to use the man pedal. Uh, automatics are for girls and blah, blah, blah. You know what? You're the ones jiggling the damn stick. You're the ones yanking on the damn e-brake. You're the ones burning out your clutch. You're the ones also putting it in neutral when you're rolling to a stop sign. You're doing all of these things that you shouldn't be doing, but then you're, you're talking shit about people that drive automatics. I'm sorry. You need to practice. You need to practice more. And once you learn how to properly drive a stick shift vehicle, then you can talk about saving the manuals. And then you can talk about people that are driving automatics as pansies and they don't know how to use the man pedal or whatever the dumb things are that you say these days. Okay, another one is to make sure that you're not downshifting too early. I talked about this in the manual, what not to do in your manual mode when using the paddle shifters as well. A good rule of thumb that I found is that you downshift when your RPM essentially matches the gear you're going in. So if you're in fourth gear and going 40 or 50 miles an hour and you want to downshift to third, wait till you get to about 3,000 RPM, then downshift to third. That'll put you right in the right range. Manual transmission vehicles don't have that same safety feature, most don't anyway. Uh, like a paddle shifter car would to where it'll beep at you if you try to downshift too early so you you run the risk of over revving your engine so don't downshift too early if you're in a racing scenario you, that that rule of thumb wouldn't necessarily apply but you have to pay attention to the essentially the gearing of your vehicle and how it runs just play with it you'll find the limits you'll know at, you'll know where red line is you know if you're in third gear at 90 miles an hour and you're bouncing off red lim rev limiter you know not to go into third gear at 90. Just think about it that way. In addition to not downshifting too early, I would say also don't put it in too high of a gear before you're at speed. So you don't want to be cruising at 20 miles an hour and put the, put the vehicle in fifth gear. You're going to be putting too much strain on the engine. I use this uh, analogy all the time. And baby speed here hates it because she doesn't get, she doesn't understand what a 10 speed bike is or something. I know, I get it. <laughs> I know what that bike is. But when you are, say you're, you're, you're what is that? driving, uh, you're riding a, a, a mountain bike, a 10 speed bike, right? You wouldn't put the bike all the way up in the highest gear when you're going really slow. The pedals are going to be so hard to turn. It's the same concept with the vehicle. If you're going 20 miles an hour and you put it in fifth gear and you floor it, the car isn't going to go anywhere. It's going to sound like it's working too hard. That's because it is. The engine is, you're putting so much, so much extra strain on the engine, it's not good for it. So don't upshift until you're going the proper speed. So generally I say 2,500, 3,000 RPM, depending on the vehicle, that's when you'd upshift to the next gear. So you start in first, shift into second at 2,500, shift into third at 2,500, and so on and so on. Um, same thing when you're on the highway and you're cruising in, in fifth gear or sixth gear, whatever your transmission is, um, don't try to pass somebody in that gear. It's not a passing gear, it's a cruising gear. So you would downshift. Think about it in, when you're in an automatic car, 
and you're cruising on the highway, if you floor it, the car downshifts at least one or two gears to put you into a passing gear. So you have to think the same way when you're driving a manual transmission vehicle as well. Don't leave it in fifth or sixth gear and floor it. You're putting too much strain on the vehicle and it's not gonna go very fast. Downshift, simple as that. Okay guys, I have one final one. I'm sure there's a bunch more that I could add to the list, but the last one we're gonna talk about today is uh, always use the clutch. And I guess this is a video about things not to do when driving a manual transmission vehicle. So I will say, don't not use the clutch. Just make sure you're using the clutch and you're pushing it all the way to the floor. Clutches are expensive. They're not always the easiest thing to change out, especially if you don't have the tools or the uh, proper um, lift and equipment in your vehicle or in your garage. Try to save your clutch. Don't burn the clutch out. If you're using the clutch to change gears, push it all, all the way to the floor. When you're using the clutch to get going, don't rev over rev the car and burn the clutch out to get going. Just be gentle with it. Learn how to drive it. Uh, just preserve your clutch. How about that? Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys very much for watching this edition of what not to do when you're driving a manual transmission vehicle. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any recommendations that you would have or any suggestions that you would have to not do when you're driving a manual transmission vehicle. Automatics shift faster than you could even imagine shifting in your manual. So you think oh you're God. a race you think you're a race car driver, you're not. Even the slowest automatic transmission is faster than you. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support with these videos. Onward and upward for Speed Culture Studios, and I hope you guys are moving onward and upward as well. Um, happy holidays. Stay tuned. Giveaway's coming. Giveaway's coming. I got some good stuff planned. Please don't jiggle the camera. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.